it's made. The ancient Romans used it as a beauty cream and to treat burns. Even the Old Testament mentions butter. Abraham served it to angels. Back then, people made butter by shaking milk in bags of animal skin or in hollow logs. Today, its glorious taste is a product of modern technology. Butter making begins with a delivery to the dairy. 30,000 litres of cow's milk. Its colour and odour are tested before it's unloaded through vacuum pumped hoses. The milk is pumped into a machine called a separator. The separator spins, dividing the milk's fat from the rest of the liquid. The fat is called buttercream and the rest is skimmed milk. The essential ingredient in butter is the buttercream. It's thick, off-white and approximately 38% fat. Some of it goes on to make a milk substitute with a lower fat content. A valve is adjusted to reinsert some into the skimmed milk. The lower the fat content, the thinner and runnier the milk. Back to the butter making. The butter cream is put into a bulk tank, where mixers stir it to maintain the consistency. After pasteurizing and then aging the butter cream for 24 hours, workers prepare to transfer it to another machine called the churner. First, the inside is filled with water mixed with iodine. This removes any germs left behind by the previous batch. The churner is spun for about five minutes before being rinsed out. Next, 1,500 litres of buttercream is poured in, filling the churner about halfway. It's important to leave some room so that the air released in the churning process can escape through two vents in the churner. The churner spins at 28 rotations per minute, about the speed of a clothes dryer. This causes the buttercream's fat molecules to bunch together, releasing water and air. Every five minutes, a worker stops the churner and regulates the air vent on top. When there's no more air escaping, he closes the valve and restarts the machine. After 30 minutes of churning, the fat molecules in the butter cream are creamy clumps known as popcorn butter. These clumps stay trapped in the churner, while the remaining liquid, called butter milk, flows out of a drain at the bottom. A vacuum pump system sends it through hoses to a nearby container. This draining process takes 10 minutes and produces 800 litres of buttermilk. This dairy uses the buttermilk to make ice cream. The popcorn butter, all 684 kilograms of it, has the same consistency as regular butter at room temperature. A worker now flavours it with 14 kilograms of salt. This dairy also makes unsalted butter. A glass window is sealed with a rubber ring and a metal collar. This keeps the internal air pressure equal to the air pressure outside. After another 30 minutes of churning, the fat molecules thicken even more and blend with the salt. The resulting butter is yellow because of its natural vitamin A. Next, about 30 kilograms of butter are scooped into a milling machine. The mill moves the butter into the final production phase, where it will be shaped and put into packages. This machine squeezes butter into an injector that's shaped like a block. The injector then deposits blocks of butter into open packages. The packaging paper has an aluminium outer coating. This prevents light from penetrating, which would make the butter rancid. Before the butter is inserted, a plastic former bends the paper into shape. This mill operates four days a week, churning out up to 33 blocks per minute. That's a fairly small quantity compared to some dairies, but this relatively slow pace allows greater quality control. Every 15th block is checked to ensure it weighs exactly 455 grams. The dairy then ships the butter to the shops in refrigerated trucks.
up No, I don't take shit I got no love For the fake news If you wanna play tough And wanna hate this I'll always show up